Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Vichel Designer Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video, what we're going to see is how we can detect that a device connected to the HMI is no longer available. So let's go to the software. So I'm going to start creating a new project. Okay, so I'm going to new want um, to choose the project tree now. Next, I'm going to select and it is HMI, doesn't matter. Okay, finish. There we go. So, what I'm going to do is to communicate to uh, M221 that I have connected over Ethernet to my PC. I'm going to simulate this, so it's going to be probably much easier to see. And the IP address of the M221 is this. Uh, this. Do, 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 do. Yes, so. I'm going to open this on this side. So I'm going to communicate or try to ping with the M21. Oof. As you can see, I have the communication working. Um, there we go. So I'm going to, have to leave it in the background. So I have a communication with the M21. Fine. Now, now that I have this, it's important to know that we have a few variables internal variables so i'm going to create just one internal variable for the communication with the m221 uh int external is going to be percentage 10. okay something that i usually recommend is to give a proper name to the device so this one is going to be my m221 and it changed the scan group okay now we have system system variables okay to control and uh, know the stats for the communication okay so if we go to help uh content window and we use at sys we should be able to access to this to the information about the driver that we are using to so this uh, it's available for any of the drivers. It doesn't matter if you use Modbus, TCP, or Serial, or any other. Okay, this will help you to understand what happened with the, with the driver itself. So, uh, here you have at start and at previous start. Okay, that will take into account this. So, start column, the number will give you this information. So, uh we can try to check this too so we just need to write this here int aux uh start start zero here we just need to write start colon zero okay you see there is no error let's copy and paste this unchange the last ones so here you can see that i'm going to use only this this three total go total bad total count good uh we can try the no reply and see how it goes okay and here we can use it in this way we can also use the previous state previous start in case you want to do something Okay, but what I'm going to focus now is in this tools, the alarm. So if you use the sys, okay, will help you to understand if you have communication with that particular device that you're working with. And to know which is device that you're working with, you need to define the scan group. So if you have multiple devices, imagine I have an M2 one and I have something else, you just need to specify the scan group. So he knows, or the HMI knows where to take a look. So I'm going to create a new int variable here. Int it's going to be aux uh, sys. And this one's going to be uh, number one. The control at sys colon one. I'm going to create another one for the two, which is the one that I want to. Okay. Okay, so this is fine and then i'm going to create a boolean saying the uh, uh com error 
Okay, and this is going to be just in time. Uh, okay, so that's for the future part. We just need to check this. So let's have a look now on the panel. Uh, this is going to be yep, Albany. I'm going to use 30. It's going to be a bigger one. So upstart zero. Okay. Control C, Control B. So it's going to be zero, one, two, three. I'm going to change here. One, two, three. Then we're going to copy this into the other side. This is going to be the start one, the system one, which is the state. Okay. If everything goes well, it's going to be one, but I can have the possibility to turn it off to stop the communication. Um, just going to be just one register and it's going to be 40 and enable the input. Okay. And now to check if everything is fine, the lamp and this one. Okay. Everything's fine, it's going to be green, the other one's going to be red. So, we're going to still have the communication on the other side. And then, let's see. Oh, oh. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Cancel. What I'm going to do now is to use this variable on my project. Um, I saw MW. So just to be able to use it. So now we just simulate this and see how it goes. So here you can see that I have a um, count. So this is gonna be the total good without error happy days here is the control so this one is if I put this in zero there is no communication at all so you can see this one stop this one should be able to put it back again okay now what I'm going to do is to remove the cable um, so now this one yeah so that stop you should be able to see the timeout okay and this one nothing at all should be able to see now the error okay you see the error this one is in red so if you want you can probably link this to a variable okay i'm gonna put it back oh, it didn't show you right Let's simulate again. You should be able to see that we're seeing red. Let's wait for a timeout. Okay, you should be able to see in red. Then I will put it back. Wait for a timeout. Um, there we go. It's in red. This one. Now I'm going to put it back again. The cable, the electronic cable. So we just see a request time. This one, this one's going to be green again, shortly. There we go, so it's back, so soon. We have the connection, everything's back, it's fine. So, final wrong, we can create an action. Conditional. This. True. Let's try to put this one through. So, uh, 
with this one through we can probably trigger something uh bit set got arrow but finish conditional not mm. ah, when false uh, maybe I can put on that a change. Let's see. And if condition. Condition, decision. So if this expression is true, then I'm going to set bit set to this one on error add. Okay, if it's false, I'm going to bit reset com error. Okay, add finish. I believe this one's gonna be much better than the previous one. Probably you get it. So it's a condition when the data change on this one, it will uh reset set or reset the communication error. Uh, we can have Alan groups add come error here device is connected okay and then here on the panel we can probably add Alan burner so here Banner and let's use summary. It's doing something fast. Uh, active single line, double line. So I do it fast. Okay, this is of the counters. It's more clear now that part is worth fine. This is the communication. This is going to be the banner. Uh, I believe you have a possibility to check the active state and put animation also. Visibility. Now I'm going to leave it like that. And this one, I'm going to put the, this one. So let's have a look how it goes now. Hopefully, there is no error. Okay, so now I have the communication. It's working fine. Now let's remove the cable and see what happens. We just need to wait for the, for the trigger. Um, for timeout. Okay, and then it should work fine. There we go. So you have the alarm activated there. Device disconnected. In case you want to do something with that thing, just to trigger something. And now, just wait for it to go back, and then the alarm should be banished. And there we go. Okay. So, you can do this. And it's going to be good, so you can have the trace that something happened, the device disconnected. And you can do whatever you want with it. Okay, so um, this is how we can uh, now, if our device... Uh, it's no longer communicating with the with the HMI, so we just need to go into the with the driver information in order to know if you have control over it or you just lose communication. Okay, so this is how it can be done. So uh, thank you very much for watching this video, and I see you on the next one.